again to another lifestyle edition of The Buzz, and we are live on Galaxy Television. Welcome to the program. My name is Patience, your host, and today is Thursday, the 18th of July, 2024. As I always say, I'm excited to be here. Hope you feel good. Hope you're well and you're all right. How are you coping? Eh, you know this economy. <laughs> you know, we need to keep checking in on each other, all right? I know it's a fantastic time we find ourselves as a people, as a country at the moment, but we have to find ways to ensure that, you know, we keep what is important intact. And by what is important, I'm talking about our hope. First of all, don't lose hold of your hope, all right? Because where there is hope, <laughs> definitely there is life so keep hoping for the best and keep praying that very soon things will change in the country also ensure you are happy find ways to make yourself happy those are my own tips for you today all right ensure you are happy do little little things that will bring a smile to both your face and that of those who are around you and also maintain a good health of your body of your mind and your soul okay it's very important don't think too deep think <laughs> too deep <laughs> all right just the one you can do do what you can do let it go let it be all right but control your sanity very important on that note i welcome you to the program on thursdays typically on the program we talk lifestyle we talk about relationships we talk about parenting everything that makes us better human beings both for ourselves and for the larger society and i'm not alone at the table joining me is the class prefect herself <laughs> of thursday's edition of the show pastor dolly and she's joining us in full capacity <laughs> as a humble minister of god <laughs> yes she's also an author she has written two books so far and uh, also she's joining us as a relationship and marriage counselor Pastor Dolly, I welcome you to the show. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Every time I see yes, I have confidence to have a good conversation. <laughs> welcome to the show again. Thank you very much. All right. So we're expecting Mr. Raphael Malik to also join us on the program. He's yet uh, to come into the studio, but we hope he will join us in the course of the show. But like they say, the show must go on. How said that? We are live on X, and that's formerly Twitter, the app. Also, you can view us on Star Times channel 110 or just download the Galaxy TV app on your mobile devices and watch us on the go. Having said that, let's start from you know this video. All right, so we all know, we know that children are a blessing, but if you are not intentional about how you handle these blessings, it could quickly turn into something else. Sometimes we know that when children start coming into the whole relationship marriage thing, the dynamics change and it can put a strain or two in the relationship. All right, so recently a Nigerian couple man and wife they came online and in a video they shared their own top six reasons why couples should not have too many children now this video has been garnering a lot of reactions online why because we are in africa all right this is the part of the continent where having a lot of children is um well you know, it shows your affluence to an extent. It also shows that you are a man, you know, especially if you're coming from that side of the country, you know what I mean? Especially when you have boys, 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 ah, ah, you are no dog somehow. So a lot of people have gone online to actually leave their comments, you know, and finish the video and to, um, you know, put in their own two cents. So we brought the video to the program this afternoon. Let's first go listening to this couple as they share their top six reasons why couples should not indulge in having too many children. We'll be back after this video. Stay with us. All right, so uh, we're just laughing here. We're listening to the couple, 
you know, uh, give out their own reasons for not having too many children. Let me quickly put this out there. This is not to spite anybody who perhaps has any XYZ number of children. The purposes of this or the purpose of this program is largely informative, all right, and also educational. We hope in the course of the conversation you learn a thing or two that might serve you well. So having said that, Pastor Dolly, you were very, very attentive. Yes, <laughs> you know, you. So what are your thoughts on this issue? What do you think, you know, really are the effects, you know, of having too many children, you know, to a couple. The word too many mm. is already, <laughs> already too many. <laughs> okay. So there is really no need to have, to, especially these days. I want to come from the economical side mm -hmm. of it, you know. Mm -hmm. Having too many children these days, you know, really burden the parents so much. Not just the parents, even the elder ones, mm -hmm. the first yeah. two, three, mm -hmm. four that you give birth to. You know, the other ones that come in becomes their, they become their yes. inherited responsibility where they have to start paying school fees for their younger ones. Mm -hmm. And even you too, at the time you're supposed to be resting, you find yourself still paying school fees for your children. I, I want to use for as I know I came from a family, my mother had 10. Wow. Yeah, she had 10, nice surviving. Actually, she had 12, three died at, as babies, two died as babies, yeah. you know, so we're nice surviving now. And uh, I can relate with so many things they were saying there, you know, yeah. And also, uh, like I said, I was looking at it from the economic side of it. You see that when you spend all your youthful life to just give birth to children, mm -hmm. when you are supposed to stop paying school fees, you start, you keep paying school fees. Mm -hmm. At that time, you're supposed to be resting, and you are no more resting, you know. Like I was going to talk about my own elder brother, mm -hmm. you know, he had, when he was having the, the fourth child then, he did this big uh, ceremony, naming ceremony, and baby dedication in church okay. was so big, mm -hmm. and I remember one of my aunts of blessed memory, she was like, ah, she was, when the wife came to me, she was like, hey, it's you that don't want to give birth to more children for us. And you have to have more, why can you stop at mm -hmm. home? And mm -hmm. all that. Uh, and of course, for who my mom is, she knows that that was not a good thing. She said, no, that is what they want. They should be allowed to have what yeah. they want and all that. Right now, they are 40 something years in marriage. They, still, they look younger than even that 40 something years old, really. Mm -hmm. And because they trained all the children, they are all graduates. So there's no pressure. They are just going again. Yeah. They are just mm -hmm. enjoying their lives. Mm -hmm. Today in America, the other day, because they can afford it, yeah. because they decided, look, mm -hmm. I don't want to, st my mom stressed herself. Mm -hmm. I'll pay school fees for my younger ones. Mm -hmm. I don't want my children to so pay school that. fees for their younger mm -hmm. ones. So that's mm -hmm. why he had to stop mm -hmm. on time. Mm -hmm. So I believe that uh, if you have fewer, the fewer children you have actually, if they are responsible. Because sometimes you have few children who are not responsible, exactly. who are not well brought up, exactly. they still will not take care of you. So mm -hmm. it's not a function of there being many. Mm -hmm. Because even in the midst of the many, of course you can have many, and all of them will join us to take care of you. Yeah. You can as well have many. And only a few of them will take care of you. In fact, let me jump in at that point. Uh, all right, there is this uh, also school of thought uh, that says um, a lot of African parents. Actually, there's even an African saying, you know, that says that uh, the reason why most Africans have lots of children is because you know, in the midst of all, oh, you at least find one who will pity you, who have love for you, and take very good care of you. What are your thoughts on and that? And if it is the first one that, that, that is care of <laughs> then the rest. So for me, I don't even think uh -huh. that is uh, that is the reason. Uh -huh. Anyway, because my people will say that if they born too much, they will born witch, they will born wizards inside. So no matter <laughs> <laughs> that is if you really have much, yeah. in the midst of the much, you must have something that will give you problem. Mm. Like they will say the black sheep of the family. You will have the black sheep of the family. And if you have three, you can still have the black, black sheep, sheep of the family the three. amongst the three. Okay. So I think it is one's prayers not to give birth to children that does not have empathy. Okay. Because children that does not have empathy, that was not if we're not even raised to have mm. empathy. When they grow up, they won't so have So sometimes it's not even about the number of kids you have, no. it's about 
the upbringing, the upbringing how did you train your children yes. okay. and sometimes mm -hmm. like there are a part they, they were referring to when they start getting married mm -hmm. you may have raised your children to have empathy mm -hmm. to be kind not just kind to you kind to people and all that when they now have a partner who is now mm -hmm. teaching mm -hmm. them the negative thing yeah. to do yeah. and they want to please their partner they sure. want their marriage to work sure. at the end of the day they start taking decisions that mm -hmm. are not too good for you as a parent, mm -hmm. you know, so things like that can really happen. Marriage can influence people. Mm -hmm. People can be influenced by their partner mm -hmm. to take decisions which was not naturally their decision. Mm -hmm. We see people like that. Mm -hmm. You are like this person was not like this. Mm -hmm. What has changed? And sometimes too, competition set in. Competition in the sense that this one wants the wife to be the one that is uh, the one that is honored, or want the husband to be the one they honor the one. So they think only about themselves. Yes. They think only about their family. They don't think about their parents who did so much to raise them and all that. So all I right, think there's a point they mentioned in that video that I want us to quickly talk about. They talked about you know uh, when the parents are now aged. You know the fact that the children. Uh, might not take care of them. I would have thought, you know, the more the merrier, I'm thinking, all right, uh, they should take turns, you know, in caring for their aged parents. I don't know what your thoughts are. Do you also agree that if you have too many children, when you are sick, they might not take care of you and all of that? The, tr the truth is that I can relate with that. Okay. Sometimes what happens is that the other one will feel that I'm not the elder son, I'm not the elder daughter. Mm -hmm. Let the elder ones you know, is their responsibility when they are through with carrying out their responsibility, then it will get to my turn. And that elder one that you think it is a turn or his turn may not have what you have mm. to take care of your parents, but because mm. you feel it's not your turn, you know, so the possibility of they having that turn thing. I remember recently there was a woman that died in Benin, mm. and the children came, some of the children came for the burial. Some didn't even care to come, they didn't show any concern. They felt their mother loved one of them more. more. So that one should take over everything. Wow. And they refused to come. Not that the mother. I want you to Isn't understand. Isn't that a function of upbringing? I don't you think. Know, like, she not the so same families are not united. She, I, I, don't think, bond. I don't think. So we are not the line. Hmm. So we are people in five characters that are not in their original characters. Hmm. For instance, like as, they they go on in life. as they go on in life, they make friends, they get married, oh, yeah. they start taking from where they went to. Hmm. And at the end of the day, they become like that. Now, when you say that your mother is, 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 has a favorite child, you see that child as a favorite child. I think to a very large, because I'm a mother, I understand. I understand that because they, some children have a way to your heart, the way they behave, hmm. the way they behave to you. For instance, if you have a child that on a daily basis must want, must call you, mm. she wants to hear about you. Mm. She wants to hear, she cannot go to bed without hearing from her mom or her dad in a day. Mm. You know such a child, there is no way you will not have a place in the heart of your parents. Sure, yeah. You compare that with a child that doesn't even call the parents. Mm. No, you cannot compare. Mm. So the possibility of you thinking that, oh, this one is mommy's favorite or daddy's favorite mm. is there. It is that child who won the heart of the parent by the way he or she relate to the parent. Mm -hmm. I think that was a problem with that particular case. Okay. You know, I so saw she felt, oh, my, my mom does not even love me. It's my sister that she let her bury her mother. Wow. And that was enough for that's, that's, her not that's to fall. So, so that's sad. why she has the resources, mm -hmm. she has what it takes. Yes. So and I understand that even when their mom travels abroad, she doesn't go to pick her mom to a house because her, for her, it is that her sister that is the mom's daughter. Mm. Is that one that the mother love? Maybe why the love was provoked by the way that the one action, the yes. action, the way yes. she takes care of her mom. Mm. That is what provoked that. Mm. Mm. I get that. Thank you, Pastor Dolly. All right. So while we we're talking, my second guest actually walked into the studio. Let me welcome Mr. Malik Afel. Uh, he's an IT guru. <laughs> all right. Everything information technology, data analytics, logistics, all of that. He's your plug, and of course, he also joins us as a counselor. Welcome, Mr. Malik, to the show. Thank you. We forgive you already for coming here. Mm -hmm. All right, so before you got here, we we're talking about the effects of too many children, you know, on the spa, on the couples, and on um, the marriage itself. Well, first, let me quickly read some of the comments online that followed this video. So, someone online commented. The only reason you shouldn't have so many kids is if you cannot cater for them physically, financially, socially, psychologically.
psychologically, morally, and spiritually. Another person said, when it comes to African homes, most of the time, the children's problem are the parents. Lack of respect and love for each other. The unity of both parents makes a huge difference within the children. Now, another one said, I know of a man that has 11 boys, no girl. If then they come for Christmas to, to if then they come for Christmas, one many children will be hungry you and all of them are doing well. If you see cars for compound, it will be like carnival with your wives and children. Uh, the point here now to raise your children well, whether they're many or they're small. Yeah. So one one, if that one no one send you, enough will still send you as the parents know is the child well. Yet another commenter said, do you give birth so they can take care of you? Is it a ROI, that's return on investment business? I beg you yourself plan for your own retirement. Another person said, not all families train your children in love and they will take good care of you. Let me stop here. Yes. Yeah. Can I put okay. it up that uh, issue of uh, planning for your retirement? Okay. Because we're talking okay. about somebody who has many children. Mm -hmm. When she's supposed to be planning for her retirement, she's she paying fees. She wasn't in paying school fees. Mm -hmm. So how does she plan for her retirement? It's not like a return on investment. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is your responsibility. They gave back to you. They invested on you. Mm -hmm. Invest their investment on you was not like for you to return. But mm -hmm. for everybody, but then that's how you receive Because you're doing all that. It comes to a time them. in your life. Mm -hmm. You cannot do those things exactly. you did before. Exactly. So you will need your children to, to do those things for you. It might not even just be money. Mm -hmm. There may be other area that you need to invest on your parents. Thank you, Pastor Jolly. All right, Mr. Malik. Let's have your own uh, perspective. I apologize for that interruption, but it was necessary. It has banned admission uh, into tertiary institutions for, you know, below the age of 18. How sad. But it is sad. I got into uni at 16. I have a 15 year old oh, daughter so who is back. writing a final I'm exam, ready. hoping to get into university. So I, I guess you'll have to stay home. You know, for the number of years until she's wow. 18. So, so it is what it is. I mean, graduate that is 18. Graduate. At 21, I was done. Look at five year course. What, so what is the reason for this? I was already graduate. We need to check uh, because it's nearly a healthy. Anyways, the let's not digress too much. We'll have a more robust conversation on this Monday. Trust me. Trust okay. me. All right. All right. So, let's come back to the matter. Okay. What are your thoughts on Let me tell you from my issue. Yes. And uh, mm -hmm. the, the truth is that uh, let's not look at it in the area of money alone or at all. Mm -hmm. The point that is very clear is when you are a child, you cannot do some things yourself. Mm -hmm. When you become old, mm -hmm. it's the same mm -hmm. thing. That's why they say mm -hmm. once an adult, twice a child. Yes. Mm -hmm. You understand? So there's no how. Mm -hmm. When you are small, you could not cook for yourself. Mm -hmm. So when your parents are not old, going back the circle, they can cook for themselves. For example, mm -hmm. you must be able to do something in that respect. Mm -hmm. So that is a major aspect of you know your children taking care of you. Okay. Definitely, they, really, they don't have to be there. They can employ people that employ are that service. Yeah. So that things, things and that, that this we can yeah. manage mm -hmm. our growing up sincerely. And uh, talking about uh, having so many children. Um, so many factors, really. but uh, this example you just, last example that just mm -hmm. came into the right, almost messed up my thoughts line. <laughs> because really, how can you really be emotionally, intelligent, uh, academically available for 11 children to be able to know, impact through life mm -hmm. in all of them? Mm -hmm. Are you not going to go to work? I said to you, uh, you know, like probably like Dangote, you have all the time for yourself. Mm -hmm. Even Dangote is busy. Mm -hmm. How much time will you be able to dedicate to be physically present in their for life? For that number of children. For that number of children. And still be able to provide for their school fees, mm -hmm. provide for their health care. Mm -hmm. I mean, it takes a lot. I said you, are, you, are, you inherited something good. Mm -hmm. You understand? 
Because when you look at that, as well, you also mentioned the fact that, okay, uh, they took care of you, they invested in you, you know. The point about investing or building lives and building your children is a lot of, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of income that's going into that, mm -hmm. financially. Mm -hmm. So how do you balance it? You know, I was looking at one documentary one day, I think it was even a comedy. The guy said when he was, you know, young, he dreamed of becoming a successful career person. Mm -hmm. Before you know it, money came in. Mm -hmm. You know, that part became divided. You have to be a husband. Before you know it, children came in. You don't only have to be a father, you have to be the plumber, the electrician, the one that takes care of the home, the chief security officer. Yeah. I mean, how do you combine all that? Yeah. For little children, for example, you know, it's a lot. Yeah. So if you are grace, I really, really are, <laughs> I admire you. It's really. yes. Yes. It's if you are grace, I admire you. Yeah. But you can take it as yeah. a child yeah. to mm. achieve that, you understand? Mm. Because it's not God. Mm. But why we keep saying it's God that takes care of children? You most people will use that and give that to mother they can really take care of. Mm -hmm. Because even if you have all the money, it's a lot. It puts a lot of strain on children. Yeah. Going to drop. Hmm. Because the love, affection yeah. that is needed, yeah, the presence is not there. Is not there. Yeah. So, how much of yourself can you really give to, to that number, number of children of human really beings who are under your care? Thank you, Mr. Uh, Malik. So, to a large extent, I think we're in agreement that though the couple were not too far from the truth, mm -hmm. all right, for no other reason. So this economy is enough, so we will tell you to just zip up and True. just... <laughs> you know, just but if you, we are already there, we have plenty children and all of that. Yes, yeah, the Lord, yes, the Lord is your strength. Yeah, it? yeah, the Lord is our strength to us. But then, um, I have to mention that it's not only when you have so many children that you know, you feel the pressure. Okay, um, let me quickly uh, just put this out. I remember my mom, God rest her soul, you know, when we were all uh, married, I had two sisters, just three. Okay, so um, we all got married like really around the same time. I think my immediate sister got married like um, like two years after I did, then the last one got married like a year after that. So we were all like having children like almost okay. at the same time. My mom, <laughs> well, you know, at the point of time I had a child, the other one had, and the other one had. Then she would be with me like three days. She go to that one, then she go to that one, and then I have a father. I mean, you know, I always talk about him. He's, he's a sweetheart, but he's just one of those men that can't do anything for himself. He can't boil oh, water no. successfully. All right, so he will still be at home expecting his wife to come back at the weekend. My mother dare not come back home Friday night. Whoever she's with, by Friday morning, you are preparing her to return back to her husband. That's to go and then also start her yeah. husband and then to make sure there's soup, there's stew, enough food for him for the, for the next week mm -hmm. before she will come back maybe to my house on Monday That's to that one. It problem. was That's a lot. lot. I felt pity for my mom at that point. And I told her, I'm like, you know what? Concentrate on the other two. I have, I had a maid at that time. Like, don't worry, I'll be good with Christiana. Don't worry, just you know, <laughs> because I knew it was. But it, even though she was happy, you know, her grandbabies, like, oh, she was happy, the joy. Right. But it, I mean, it took a lot okay. on her physically. Mm -hmm. So children, like I said, they're blessing from God. We all know because mm -hmm. there are people that isn't money to value for these children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, if you never have one, <laughs> exactly. But then when you had a few. It's okay. So you can give your best to those young friends. Let me let me add to what you just mentioned. Children are blessings from God. They are. But are they really at the end of the day? When mm. they are the one on the road disturbing our peace? Well, so that's the that's the, that's the other I side also, I also of having many children. I also want to add to what you just said, Mr. Malik. Because a lot of people believe that God is the one that brings children. Mm -hmm. So as much as I have, it comes from God. Mm -hmm. So I'm not to blame. God is to blame. Mm -hmm. yeah, if I don't have enough money to take care of them, I'm not to blame. God yes, is God. to blame. Wow. After all, the Bible says, go and told the word that multiply. But we forget it. Say, 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 we forget it. I think it's the Yorubas. They believe that every child that's coming to the world brings what you eat on the it's not that you have it. You have to bring it out from the world to see it. Abi, let's see it. Mm -hmm. so like, like I was saying, we have forgotten that God gave that responsibility to yeah. you. He said, go into the world and, and multiply. It is your responsibility. 
God will not speak with your wife for you. Mm -hmm. you do that. Mm -hmm. You can also decide to say, I've had enough. Mm -hmm. I want to control. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do it this mm -hmm. way. So that there's nothing for us Christians that says we cannot yeah. control what, how many children we bring to yeah. this world. There's nothing that says that, okay, God is the one. You, you don't want. God is forcing it on you. Mm -hmm. God does not force it on you. You no. want. That's what you're having. So always try as much as possible to take God out mm. of yes. you. Your part. Your part. You have to either to be responsible or you choose not to be responsible. It's your it's your cross carried. Mm. Take God out of it. Mm. Just the way we blame Satan for everything. Mm. I'm very sure the last Satan will be like Satan is short sometimes when he mentioned his name. He's not even aware. He's not even aware of what he did. What you have to do. No. no. So don't let me put it on God. It is you who want to have. I don't even really give you only you that mandate to go and feed the head. And now I like this one I give you. Yes, it is good. There are data that yeah. says the world will not be able to hold the population in yeah. the next 20 years. Exactly. So, how are we managing that information? That's and why that. scientists are exploring other oh, planets. Yes. They to be <laughs> They're exploring other planets. I heard a new, a new planet has been discovered. I've, I've, I heard. I haven't fact checked it to confirm um, what I heard. You know? the so they're exploring no, the, the one other that planets we can we can exist in. The one that the earth, earth, is yeah, going so. to the moon now. Mm -hmm. They're actually you know, checking the moon. Is they're already by space. Yeah, so yeah. They're yeah, checking the moon is. how habitable it, it is. I pity them. And uh, I guess what I guess. some of our good people. They also discover yes. some of our good people like uh, Elemox. They're already designing aircraft hmm. that will take from Earth to moon. I'm telling and you. Come back. Mm. Like honeymoon. Like they are going to show so, the market. Yeah. yeah. So mm. scientists are developing all sorts. True. Because True the that. Earth, if we don't really manage it, we are not going to hold the population. And we hope we hope we don't implode <laughs> population wise. But anyways, that is it on the effect of having twenty children, you know, on the couple, on the family, and even on